What's going on, YouTubers? This weekend we are working on the power steering lines on the 79 Camaro uh, LS swap. Um, it's one of those things you got to deal with when you're doing an LS swap. You've got a newer style, style power steering pump, usually with an older style power steering box. Now, depending on the year of your vehicle, that can change. This vehicle is a 79. I assumed it would have a metric newer style steering box in it. I was wrong. Uh, it has an older style steering box, whether it's supposed to or not, it does. So my first attempt at power steering lines failed. But luckily, my buddy works at Napa, and you can go to Napa and have power steering hoses made. You can also buy them from Summit. Uh, I believe Detroit Speed makes a kit. It's around $155. Um, but you need to know what you have either way. So uh, this is what we got from Napa. Pressure side hose with the fitting for the power steering box and the fitting for the power steering pump. This little bad boy right here. Metric style, comes with an O-ring on it. Screws right onto your old brake line style fitting there. This goes in the pump, this goes in the box, you're good to go. Now, obviously depending on the length of hose and your build, the price will change. Uh, they range anywhere from $15 to $30 at your local Napa store. But again, like I said, depends on how long the line needs to be. Uh, on the non-pressure side, this is actually a hydraulic fitting, but it's got a nice barb on the end, so you just use a piece of 3 8 tranny cooler line on there, and then you can just cut it to length after you slide it onto the return line. All right, so before I put these on, I wanted to show you the box I got in this car. This right there are the ports. This back one here being the return, that one being the the pressure side. Uh, you can see those fittings there, that's the old style where it's more like a brake line tapered fit. If uh, yours is a newer style it's actually more like the o-ring or if the line you took out of it had an o-ring on it then you have the newer style. All right now we'll put these things on. All right so just a quick thought here before I continue. Uh, when it comes to measuring your lines it's kind of tough once you've got the motor in the car, power steering pump in the car, box and everything down there in that corner. Now you need them in there to take your measurement, but you're going to bend your tape measure around and try to get a, an accurate measurement. It's not, not a good idea. Just not easy to do. My speech fell apart there, but here's an idea. Brake line. You can easily bend a piece of brake line. So if you, you know, get down in there under the car or over the fender, however you well, works for you, but uh, take a piece of brake line, bend it up, kind of figure out where you want your power steering line to go. You're going to have to bend a couple bends probably to get it where it needs to go, but you can then take this piece out and measure it. And then you've got a good idea of what you need for a length on your hose, and you can take it with you to the store and show the guy what you got. And hopefully, if he's good, he can make you a hose. That'll work in one shot. You won't have to go back like I did because I screwed up. All right, we're all mounted up. You can see it's a, you know, kind of a tight squeeze going down through there, but that's hooked up to the power steering pump which is actually from a uh, in this case it's from a 98 to 02 f body kind of camaro or firebird on my setup um, obviously yours might be a little bit different you might be using the one from the truck but then it comes down around the back side there and into the pressure side this is your return and uh you can see here i don't actually have it hooked up it's just kind of sitting there but i cut the hose to length uh in uh you know with hindsight being 2020 i think i probably would have went with a 45 here instead of a 90 because this is this upturn's pretty tight. It's not kinked, but it's a little tighter than I'd like it. So next time I'd probably do a 45 here. But that's just my setup. I don't know what yours is. I don't have it hooked up because this car sat for a while with that box open. So I'm actually going to turn this down on startup and flush it out. Pump some fluid through it and flush that steering box out. You know, I'll point it down there and into a bucket or something. And Flush some fluid through it to clean that steering box out, and then I'll hook it up. But give you the general idea. That's what you do dealing with when you do these LS swaps. You got to figure out how to hook that new style power steering box or pump up to the old style steering box. And in my case, I just went to Napa, and uh, I don't remember exactly what it cost, but you know, for let's say on the high end, it was sixty bucks. Well, that's relatively inexpensive when considering the kit. Uh, from Summit is $155, so quite a bit cheaper to uh, run down a nap and have some hoses made. No, they're not pretty stainless steel braided lines, but they will get the job done just as well. And there you go. 
as usual, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Keep it creative. Happy building.